At the time when the earth became hot. At the time when the heavens turned about. At the time when the sun was darkened to cause the moon to shine. The ancient Hawaiian Kumulipo chant tells of a time when islands rose from the oceans, when light broke through the dark, and how Maui came to be. Stretching 48 miles across and 26 miles from north to south, Maui has 120 miles of coastline with over 42 miles of white sand beaches. Maui also has the largest number of swimmable beaches in Hawaii, with majestic Haleakala and the dramatic West Maui Mountains in the background. There's nothing like it under the sun. When it was first born, it was called Maui Nui. This is a huge land mass of about 5,600 square miles almost twice as large as the Big Island of Hawaii is today. In the beginning, Maui Nui consisted of seven volcanoes, Haleakala being the youngest and largest. The peaks of these seven volcanoes then became islands because as the glaciers receded in North America, the sea level rose. The sea level then created these islands that we know today as Molokai, Lanai, Kahulade, and Maui, the largest. Today, Maui is comprised of two volcanoes, and looking at the shape of Maui, you might be reminded of a figure eight. To the west is the extinct West Maui Mountains. The highest peak, Pu'ukukui, at 5,788 feet, receives over 300 inches of rainfall annually, sculpting sharp peaks and deep green emerald valleys. The terrain is so wild that even today, parts of the area have never been explored. The second volcano, mighty Haleakala, the house of the sun, rises over 10,000 feet above sea level, the largest dormant volcano in the islands. Its summit crater is so large, it could swallow the entire island of Manhattan. The isthmus between these two volcanoes gave Maui the nickname, the Valley Isle. Almost every conceivable geological feature is found on Maui. It might be surprising to note that the island has no rivers, but hundreds of streams. Two of the largest are Palakea, which runs through Kipahula Valley, and Iao Stream, which over the centuries sculpted Iao Valley. The second largest island in the Hawaiian chain, Maui, is the only Hawaiian island named after a god, and romantic legends have flourished. One story tells of the demigod Maui, who one day pulled all the Hawaiian islands from the sea with his fishing hook. It was this Superman, Maui, who again snared the sun god, La, and released it only after eliciting a promise that it would slow its passage, allowing people ample warmth and time to fish and grow taro in their fields. Today, the people of Maui along with many island visitors, can enjoy these picture-perfect days in our tropical paradise called Maui. We'll be back with more right after these messages.